Congratulations. Thank How you. does it feel having this buddy comedy movie that you guys made? Just buddies? Buddy comedy. <laughs> <laughs> buddy comedy. Uh, I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. I, I was, I was, you know, I was, I was a little nervous about it when I when I first started talking to them about it and what they were trying to do, and you know, you had to come to an understanding of, you know, there's there's a, a certain way a Shaft movie has to work, a real Shaft movie in, in uh, terms of the thriller. So the real danger and everything else had to be there. So to make the comedy work, the sort of Taking a kid who was raised outside of the world that's ours, the really smoky, dangerous, sexy, you know, cool Harlem that he's got to find his way in. And we have to let him know that there's a specific way that a shaft carries him way and carries him, himself in this world. And that, you know, people have expectations well, I was that say he's got to meet. You have the original right here. So yeah. what did you teach them about the legacy of shaft? The fact that I'm in the film automatically says, at the end of the film, uh, that from here it is about where Sam has taken it, the level that he is in the film, and what he's trying to impart on his son, given what his, his uh, paramour? Well, how would you describe your ex? My ex? Yeah. Paramore. Paramore is a good word. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because the the, the 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 where she has placed right. It their doesn't son. She love me. She just wants him to be safe. Yeah. In the world, and he know, and she knows that the world I live in is not a safe world. So she kept him away from it. You're proving that you are not a deadbeat dad in this. I'm just saying. Oh no. No 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 no, no. not at all. On the no. contrary, he mm. didn't get a vote. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> right. <laughs> Now, how much convincing did it take to get you back into the role? The fact that my name is on the menu from, St from Jump Street is a no-brainer. So well, you know how some of those actors are. You know, oh, my God, I've, I've, I'm so sick of being associated with this character. I'm much more than that. And I have had those moments. Uh, all right, good, good, good. I nice. have had and you, those moments. Right, and, then you and, woke up, and then you woke up. And yeah, right, okay, yeah, good. yeah. Reality hit me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and you're stepping into the Shaft universe, yeah. keeping up the name. How heavy was that on your shoulders? It was extremely heavy, but you know what? They took a lot of the weight off. They did. By signing on to this film and playing the characters that they played, they allowed me to come in and I just felt weightless. You know, and I was able to try things, um, things that I hadn't seen in the Shaft franchise before in the Shaft universe that may not have fit prior, you know, to, to this film. But the fact that they were there and they were still solid and they were very in tune with the characters that they played, it just allowed so much interaction between this new Shaft. And, and comedy ain't easy. Yeah, yeah it's, no, it's not. It, it, he has an exceptional sense of timing. Thank you. And, and sense of character and how to react to situations in a very real kind of way that, you know, honestly make people sit there and go, oh yeah, that's real, mm -hmm. you know? So how much improv you know, was there? Not, well, I don't know. We not were so lot. in tune. Yeah, there wasn't a not lot. Not a lot. Was... I mean, we had stuff that was on the page, but I'm one of those people that when I get to work, I want them to rehearse at least twice. Mm -hmm. So when we get there and we're in the moment, and something has happened the day before or something that's happened in another scene that kind of coordinates with what's going on now, then you go, well, we got to fix this so it works with this. Or we have to make this better because the other thing was so much better. And we can do that on the, on the moment. I mean, I can. Because mm -hmm. I know who I want to see me be on screen. Mm -hmm. And he tuned into it and picked up on it. So if I change something, he knew how to ride with it and roll with it or do whatever. Or, so it all works. And it can't be a Shaft movie without the fashion. I heard the trench coat weighed 30 pounds. That, that sounds about heavy right. Yeah, stupid, yeah, whatever. That sounds about yeah. right. How did you feel yeah. when you put that on? Warm. Old. <laughs> <laughs> Not something I wear on a daily basis. No, no. Not without somebody walking around with me holding it up. Yeah. Is there a camera yeah. rolling? OK, yeah. let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you started the trend of the turtleneck. Do you think we're going to see that come back? I think it has come back. 
They still sell them. What yeah. are you talking about? It's, you know, yeah. it's not like you got to you got to go hunting for turtlenecks. No. <laughs> <laughs> With this film, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of the trench more, on the turtleneck. Yeah. No, more, it's some, more leather and turtleneck yeah. combinations, you yeah. think? It's, I think so. Yeah, some pretty dope turtlenecks out there. And now you guys walking down the street, you guys got the shaft walk. Did you guys do that in sync? Who taught who how to walk? What was that dance teacher's name? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, that kind of just happened. That that shaft walk just happened. You know, it was Richard's walk. Sam embodied the walk, and as JJ, I was able to kind of sit back and just see it and and recreate, I guess, and it just worked. I mean, that's an iconic shot right there. Feel the magic. Like, Feel the magic. Felt the magic. <laughs> the magic of shaft traffic stop. <laughs> and I want to ask you, because you've been in every single franchise, yeah. Shaft, Avengers, Star Wars, are you coming back to Star Wars? I don't know. I'm kind of wishing I would. Mm. December. Hey, there's, there's a long history of one-handed people in the you know, Jedi universe. So, it's possible. I'm all about being that. Well, I can envision him coming in as Nick Fury's dad in sure. Avengers. Mm -hmm. Richard, what would you think coming into the Marvel Universe? Am I working? Not today, but we can get you a job. We can hook you up. I'm on. I'm you have on to board. wear your eye hey. patch over your right eye, though, not your left eye. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be a right eye patch. I'm aboard. Right I'm eye board. patch. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.